let me simplify the most common type of hostings for you. So mainly we are four common type of hosting. Shared hosting, VPS hosting, dedicated hosting and cloud hosting. And each of these hosting options provide unique features and benefit. So in this useful video, I'm going to explain you what are these hosting types. So you have complete knowledge about these things and you can choose the right hosting type and hosting plan for your website. So first of all, we have shared hosting. This is the most common and affordable type of hosting. In shared hosting, multiple websites share resources on a single server. It's like living in an apartment building with several tenants sharing the same resources. And shared hosting is great for beginner or small website, which have low to moderate traffic. Shared hosting is a cost effective solution. It is really easy to set up and hosting provider manages the server maintenance tasks for you. So you do not need to maintain the server by yourself. However, since the resources are shared and you have multiple websites on the same server, so if any other website on the same server experiences sudden surge in traffic, your website speed and performance can be affected. But if you're just starting up your blog or portfolio or a small website, shared hosting can be a really, really good option for you because it is really easy to start with shared hosting plans. For shared hosting, I really recommend Hostinger, Bluehost and A2 Hosting. They're really nice plans which are really cost effective and you can start your website within no time. Okay, so let's move to the next hosting, which is VPS hosting, which stands for virtual private server. So VPS hosting is very similar to shared hosting, but it offers a higher level of performance and control compared to shared hosting. So it is like living in an apartment where you have own dedicated space, but you still share the overall infrastructure with others. So same like shared hosting in VPS hosting, you have multiple websites on the server, but the resources to your website are dedicated. For example, in VPS hosting, your website is hosted on a shared server, which has 10 websites. So 10% of the resources will be allocated to just your website. So if anything happened to other website, your website performance will not be effective. To sum up with VPS hosting, you will have a virtual server that acts as a dedicated server within a shared environment. VPS hosting is suitable for websites that require more power Bluehost, Edu Hosting are perfect to have VPS hosting. If you want to get some discount, I will add the link in description. And if you want to support the small creator like me, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will understand that you guys are learning something technical and improve your web skills. And these videos are created to deliver maximum value without wasting any of your time. So I would really appreciate this. Subscribing is free. That really helps the channel grow. With that said, let's move to the third hosting type which is dedicated hosting. So dedicated hosting provides the highest level of control and resources. It's like owning your own house with no shared space. The whole house is dedicated to you. In dedicated hosting, you have an entire physical service dedicated only for your website. Dedicated hosting is ideal for large website, high traffic volume website, or resource intensive applications. For example, if you have e-commerce website with very high traffic, you're running ads, then dedicated hosting can be a really good solution for your website. You will have full control over server configuration, security settings, and you do not have to worry about any other website impacting your performance. But there is a downside with dedicated hosting. If you're not a technical person or you don't have a server admin in your team, then it can be really complex to manage the server. And it can be really expensive too. And because of that, the last hosting type we are going to cover comes into place, which is cloud hosting. Unlike the previous type we discussed, cloud hosting doesn't rely on a single physical server. Instead, it utilizes a network of interconnected servers, forming a cloud infrastructure. Cloud hosting offers excellent scalability, reliability and flexibility. It allows you to easily scale your resources up or down based on your website need. For example, if you run some ads on your website, you can just scale up your website server size and when you stop the traffic, you can scale down the server size. Additionally, if one server experiences issues, your website can quickly switch to another server within the network, which will ensure the maximum uptime for your website. And cloud hosting is perfect and suitable for growing website e-commerce platforms and application with unpredictable traffic. And cloud hosting can be best hosting type for any kind of website, maybe you have small website, medium website or a large or complex website. I recommend cloud based hosting, they have multiple plans, they start with like $10 per month and if you use the coupon code ABI20, you will get 20% extra discount. So it will cost you like very close to shared hosting. So if you want to get the discount, check the description of this video. So now you understand all these hosting type. If you want to watch a small and informational video about how to choose your best hosting provider, check this video on screen. And guys, like always, if you want to support a small creator, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that and subscribing is totally free.